remember during rehearsal we want the camera higher. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Hi. Uh, when you do this gig, which I recommend, um, people give you a lot of advice, sometimes really unsolicited. And I appreciate all of you who gave me advice, except for the unsolicited. Um, <laughs> But uh, one thing a lot of folks said was, take it in, and wow. Um, the lights, you can see everybody. That was a lie, because you can see everybody. Because they were like, you can't see anything. You, I can see all the way to the back. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Yeah. OK. Um, and I just, I, I don't want Liz to get mad. I'm going to go off script for a second, Liz. Um, Five years ago when I was here, when I heard the speaker, I said, I want to do that. And I, tr I applied four times. <laughs> uh, um, the lesson being, kids, if you want something, wear them down. Um, but I realized, actually, today, um, I've been a puddle all day, and I realized that it took four years to build the story. So that's why it's now and not four years ago, because it took four years for the story to come to be. Um, I have a few folks I need to thank before we start. Um, I want to express my gratitude to my April friends. Um, Denise Wren, Stacey Valdez, Tim Bugno, and the Avid Center staff for this and many opportunities I've had. This keeps sliding. It's going to drive me nuts. There we go. Um, I want to thank my colleagues from USD 259, Wichita, Kansas. They're in the next session, so there's no cheering for them. Um, <laughs> They'll appreciate that. Um, I really want to thank, I especially want to thank my district director, Rob Compton, uh, my principals, Leroy Parks, and Eric Flippy. Without you, I wouldn't have gotten involved with AVID at Southeast. So that guy who cries when he talks, I, I'm the guy in the audience going, oh my god. <laughs> um, my family's here today. Uh, my mom and my dad drove in from Phoenix and uh, Danville, Illinois, um, with their partners. And <laughs> between them, they have 60 years of educational experience. And so thank you for teaching me how to be an educator. It, that's from you. Thank you. And thank you for having me, literally. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's good, too. Uh, my sister from another mister, Heidi Fluin from Colorado, thank you. Um, Travis, uh, Tanya, and Sam, my Wichita family. Um, some of my advocates are going to be here for the 4 o'clock one because they woke up late. <laughs> um, and finally, I need to thank a special man in my life. His name is Tom Noonan. He's my work husband. Um, and he was the other avid teacher who went through this journey with me in four years. And without him and old Chicago, um, it would not have been as much fun or probably even possible. So I really appreciate you, Tom. Thank you much. Um, before we start, I need everyone, this is going to be <laughs> fun, I need everyone to take out a piece of paper. What? Seriously, so take out a piece of paper. Go ahead and rustle and do that. And if you don't have paper, then it must be like class, so. <laughs> Big, small, it doesn't matter. All right, can you give me one? Can you give me two? All right, take that paper, and I just want you to crinkle it up and hold it, okay? Please do not throw it. Okay, here we go. I do need to apologize up front. Um, you ever taught the same class twice back to back? The second one's always better because you test everything out in the first one. You're the first one. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Two, uh, two years ago, sitting in a cafe on a Sunday afternoon in June, I received a text message that changed my life. I'll tell you how in a minute. 
I've taught for nine years and just completed my first loop with AVID students from freshman year to senior year. In the beginning, I taught math. I had a pacing guide to get through, and students seemed to stay caught up with me. I believe sleeping in class was disrespectful and excuses were hollow. Then the AVID college readiness system happened. My AVID journey began where you are. I attended Summer Institute and listened to my staff developer named Central Hicks in implementation. I learned the how-tos on notes, tutorials, and all other AVID ex expected AVID strategies. But of all the things he taught me, nothing stuck more than the following. You will become like a parent to these students. My first reaction was, <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want to be anybody's parent. I want to go to school, do my stuff, grade, go home. <laughs> these students have parents. They don't need me to be their other parent. I was an academic coach, not a parent, and I was firm in my decision. When I first met my freshmen, I told them we were, gonna go, we were together for four years. Some students recall I climbed on a desk and yelled, four years! <laughs> that's, revi that's revisionist history. And see, electronics, it just jumped to the last paragraph. Now the iPad's bored with me, great. <laughs> Thank you, Apple. Here's what happened in that classroom. I taught the mechanics of the AVID curriculum, how to take notes, do tutorials, wicker strategies. I facilitated conversations through philosophical chairs. I told them to go to class, turned them to told them, turn their homework in, and we checked grades a lot. I did what I needed to do to do my job. Then I started being a teacher. I advocated for them. I had discussions with colleagues who told my kids, you don't belong in my honors classes. I held students as they cried about the pressures at home and school. We celebrated new relationships, and I told them it would be okay when those relationships ended. A lot. Um, <laughs> we celebrated a new citizenship. When they became juniors, I made breakfast before the ACT. I told them not to drink and drive at prom and to make smart decisions. If you make adult choices, there will be adult consequences. We'll have fun. We had fun. We laughed. We had intelligent conversations about race and gender. I watched children become young adults. And I was lucky enough to see their realization that their college dreams were becoming realities each time they shared an admissions letter to a college or university. Happily, I can report each of my students will be attending a post-secondary institution in the fall. <laughs> Many of whom are not paying a penny out of pocket because of scholarships. The tech, oh. <laughs> okay. The text message I received that Sunday afternoon was from an avid student. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Woo! Uh, we can do it. <laughs> Just get through it. <laughs> we we want to get to site teams. Let's go. Uh, I want to pay $12 for a sandwich. Okay. Uh, 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 the text message I received that Sunday afternoon was from an avid student. Mr. Ritz, I realized that today is Father's Day. And I thought about all the things you do for me and us. And I love you, and you love us no matter what we do, kind of like a father. I just want to say thank you. First, I panicked. <laughs> <laughs> and thought, no, it's too much. I can't be that. I'm not... I'm not worthy enough to be that to somebody. Second, I realized it was too late. <laughs> I guess that's a funny moment in the speech that I had not realized. Uh, <laughs> but then I realized why it was okay. After numerous avid professional learning opportunities I attended, I realized that I'm a change teacher. Being an elective teacher in the avid system has made me kinder and more open to all struggling students. It's made me a better teacher by becoming a better person. I stopped teaching math, and I started teaching kids. AVID is not about just a curriculum, notes, and tutorials. AVID is about transforming yourself and your belief system into something amazing. With AVID strategies, you can guide students to believe in who they are and teach them the tools they need to succeed in their college dreams. Take out your paper that you folded up. 
and unfold it. Get all the wrinkles out. This is a popular technique. <laughs> the problem is you can't get all the wrinkles out. Each of these wrinkles represents an experience that has changed you in some way. We bring our wrinkles into our classroom. Our students bring their wrinkles into the classroom. Those wrinkles are the sleeping student who you find out babysat his siblings while his mom worked second shift, or the girl who works 40 hours to support herself. It's the student who's too afraid to ask how to do something because most of his or her life, they've been told they can't do it. AVID teaches students that those experiences make them who they are, and not to fear the wrinkles, but to use them as motivation for the future. AVID and its strategies are the way to student success. AVID strategies teach students to use the wrinkles and become something amazing. Here's what my students did with their wrinkles in four years. In our graduating class, 18 of them, we had a state violist, the vice president of the student body, the marching band's drum major, managing editor of the yearbook, a nationally recognized photographer, a state honored soccer player, captains of the varsity, basketball, softball, and volleyball teams, two students who scored fours in their AP US history test, a state recognized uh, artist, a Dell finalist, a Gates semifinalist, three full rides to college, plus many scholarships to offset their cost. All of which, in my opinion, is pretty darn amazing. My hope today was to remind you about what we do and why it matters. Being a teacher isn't about a calling or a paycheck. Uh. <laughs> but it is about being honored with students that we have the privilege to interact with daily. It's not about our pride or us being proud of them. It's about recognizing and supporting their choices, their beliefs, and keeping your fingers crossed that as they move on in their journeys and their lives, something you did, said, or the love and care you surrounded them with made a difference. Thank you. Thank you.